I have never seen such compassion from a lot of people in my life toward any human, animal, child, as I have a lot of people in the way they interact with the robot. Because I think there's compassion. I think there's something of, I, I mean, I was on the robot owner's chat boards for mm -hmm. a good eight months. And the main emotional benefit is she's never gonna cheat on you. Oh, wow. She's never gonna hurt you. She's never gonna lie to you. She doesn't judge you. You know, I think that robots ha help people, and this is part of the work I do with animals, like I do equine therapy and train dogs and stuff, because there is this safe space to be authentic. You're with this mm. being that doesn't care what you do for a living, doesn't care how much money you have, doesn't care who you're dating, doesn't care what you look like, doesn't care if you have cellulite, whatever, you feel safe to be able to truly, you know, be present without being defensive and worrying about eye contact and mm -hmm. being triggered by, you know, needing to be perfect and fear of judgment and all that. And robots really can't judge you yet, uh, <laughs> but they can't judge you. And I think it really puts people at their, um, at ease and at their most authentic do you think you can have a deep connection with a robot that's not judging or you, do you think you can really have a relationship with a robot or a human being that's a safe space or is attention mystery danger necessary for a deep connection i'm going to speak for myself and say that i grew up in now call home i identify as a codependent talked about this stuff before but for me, it's very hard to be in a relationship with a human being without feeling like I need to perform in some way right. or deliver in some way. And I don't know if that's just the people I've been in a relationship with or or me or my brokenness, but I do think this is going to sound really um, negative uh, and pessimistic, but I do think a lot of our relationships are projection and a lot of our relationships are performance. And I don't think I really understood that until I worked with horses and most communication with human is nonverbal, mm -hmm. right? I can say like, I love you, but mm -hmm. the, you're not, you don't think I love you, yeah. right? Whereas is with animals, it's very direct. It's all physical. It's all energy. I feel like that with robots too. It feels very, um, uh, what, how I say something doesn't matter. My inflection doesn't yeah. really matter. And you thinking that my tone is disrespectful, like you're not filtering it through all mm -hmm. of the bad relationships you've been in. You're not filtering it through the way your mom talked to you. You're not getting triggered. You know, I find that for the most part, people don't always receive things the way that you intend them to or the way intended. And that makes relationships really murky.